Right, so this is a quick recap of some functions exam questions. Once you have the skill, you should be able to answer over 90% of the function questions that come up, uh, depending on its dif difficulty. Okay, so calculate the value of F7. So all we're doing here is replacing, you can see the X replaces the seven. So that's gonna be two times seven plus one over three, which is 15 over 3 which is 5 that's quite nice now the inverse function that means find the inverse so the way I like to do this is just write y equals 2x plus 1 over 3 we're going to make y the subject okay so we're going to multiply out by 3 to get 3y equals 2x plus 1 we're going to minus the 1 to get 3y minus 1 equals 2x then divide by 2 to get 3y minus 1 over 2 equals x and then we put that back in and just replace the y with an x that's 3x minus 1 over 2 because that's what you're doing in reverse, right? Okay, question 2. So I think this is going to be a composite type function. And this is what someone has asked for. So step 1 here is to find, essentially, you're putting this into this. So first we're going to find g2 so that's going to be 2 times 2 plus 4 that's going to equal 8 so then we just do f8 now as that is swapping this so that's 3 times 8 minus 1 that equals 24 minus 1, so that answer is 23. And calculate the value of F3. So we're just using that twice. So first F3 is going to be 3 times 3 minus 1, that equals 8. And we'll, oh, are we going to get the same answer? And there we are, because we've got 8. So f f three that eight is just going to be replaced here is just going to be twenty three because of the working we did before. Okay, now let's find g f of x. So I just got to write that down. x equals 3x minus 1 g of x equals 2x plus 4 so what this means is we're putting this into g of x so essentially you're doing this if that helps you understand so what does fx equal 3x minus 1 so gf of x, you're going to substitute what f of x equals and replace it with dx here. So essentially you're doing this, g of 3x minus 1. So that's going to be 2 times 3x minus 1, and we've got the plus 4 on the side. Expand it out. And that equals so gf of x equals 6x plus 2. So here we go, we're going to get lots of practice with this now composite functions. So, question 3 so g of x equals 2x plus 1. So if it helps, what we're doing is 
this to f of x. So this gets replaced for x, which will become expand that out, that's going to be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus 3 so fg of x equals 4x squared plus 4x minus 2 I'm going to write that here, I've run out of space get a bit more practice let's do gh of x so let's just help you so essentially what you're doing is g swapping the x x over 2 because this is what h of x is into 2x plus 1 so you're going to get 2x over 2 plus 1 that's going to equal 2x over 2 plus 1 which is just going to be x plus 1 now the inverse so let's just set y equals x over 2 multiply both sides by 2 to get 2y equals x so the inverse is just going to be 2x, swap the y for the x. Okay. Question 4, it says solve. So essentially you're just solving 4x minus 7 equals 17. That's what it says it's equals to. So you plus 7, 4x equals 24. So x equals 7. Oh, find the inverse. So we know y equals 4x minus 7. And I'm just going to jump a step. Swap the y for the x. Okay, let's see if we can have something a bit more difficult. Question 5. So when it's like this, that means you're just solving this with the letter a in it, essentially. So you, so you change the x to a. a squared plus 2 equals a plus 14. So you can get a squared minus a minus 12 equals 0 just factorize that a minus 4 a plus 3 equals 0 so a equals 4 and a equals minus 3 <coughs> and that's just another composite function type 1 and solving it so <coughs> Let's just work that out first. That's going to be 8 minus 9 equals minus 1. So we're just going to do g of minus 1. That's 4 times minus 1. And that equals minus 4. Hence, solve that. Right, so we do need to make that into a composite function first. So essentially f of x is the function f of x is this. And what's happening there is we're going to put this here. And 
let's just work that out first and g of x is 4x so we swap that for this 8 minus 3x that's going to equal 32 minus 12x and it's saying to solve it for 80 so 32 minus 12x equals 80 we're going to get 12x equals minus 48 when you solve that and rearrange it so x equals minus 4 okay so this is a harder type question let's just solve this so let's just work out what this equals first and we're saying fg of x equals gf of x so let's work that out first so we've got the first step f g of x remember what that means we're substituting this for x so we're essentially doing this f of that so we've got x squared this x minus 9 replaces the x squared I mean replaces the x so we need to square that plus 4 that equals x squared minus 18x plus 81 plus 4 let's just use the correct notation That's x squared minus 18x plus 85. Let's do gf of x now. So what f of x equals is going to swap for x. So that's why this is going to be um, x squared plus 4. That goes this whole thing because that's what f of x equals. Get swapped with this x minus 9 that equals x squared minus 5 so if we're doing this we're going to get x squared minus 18 x plus 85 equals x squared minus 5 and we just solve that so we're going to get minus 18 x equals minus 90 I can times most both sides by minus 1 so we can get 18x equals 90 and x equals 5 and that is a quick functions recap for you all hopefully that helps you all out